<laughs> Are we going? Oh, okay. All right, so first off, when you see this word, there's a Q and then a U. That would indicate that it's qua. So when people say quinoa, they're mentally ill. It's quinoa. Okay? All right. Second of all, why would you ever buy anything at Costco? It's known to be the lowest quality on purpose to, like, make you suffer. It's a, it's a scheme. So this, here we have golden quinoa versus uh, white bean quinoa. You see that? It's definitely a bean and not a nut or a grain. And that means that if you don't have the highest quality version of it, you really don't want to be baking with that at all. It's just going to ruin the like balance of like texture, like the amount of like glueiness with the other flowers and stuff. I've noticed this works the best, but you still only want to use a little bit. I'm not even sure if it's a grain, no matter what they say. All right, next we have almond flour. Um, it's kind of hard to um, fluff almond flour into other flours for extreme rising situations. Uh, usually use it for like cookies or pies. It's pretty easy for that. Um, you can make you know tarts with it and stuff. It's pretty fun to work with. Um, Usually if you use something like almond flour, you want to mix uh, other type of grain in with it that's really um, tough. Like for example, I've got wild rice mix here. If you mix that in with almond flour, you can get some pretty good results. What I'm doing is just working through the uh, stuff that people use on the far end here that isn't technically um, a grain, like lupin here. This is pretty disgusting. Uh, I, it's pretty questionable. Like, I wouldn't use it for many sweet recipes. You have to use it in some sort of savory baking, and then it's all right. You know, you can kind of work with, say, like pea flavors or other random strong vegetable flavors and mix it in, and it'll work. Um. All right, on to the just general grains. Um, barley. You can basically use at least 50% barley in replacement of wheat and get the same results almost completely. Um, not much else to say. It just has more of a rich flavor, you know. When it comes to oats, um, when they're already rolled, they do go stale pretty quick. You're losing a lot of the nutrients and flavor. If you can find um, actual wheat berries that haven't been flattened yet, then you're going to get a lot better results when you grind and bake them. And it goes the same, like if you get flour at the store that's already been ground, the more days you go from when it's ground, you know, the staler it gets. It's kind of lean quick. Um, buckwheat, I only have it in flour form right now. Uh, it's not really a weed at all. It's definitely gluten-free. People claim it's so difficult to work with, but I just don't think they're grinding it fine enough. It's a grass. <clears throat> it's very grassy. It's very strange and uh, very easy to work with. Um, again, we get back to the mixed rice here. It's kind of like using regular rice, but then you have more of a coarseness, you know, mixed in with it to kind of balance stuff out. So the reason you want a kind of a coarse texture for baking, I've found, is you can inlay alcohols into it easier, actually. I don't know. It seems to hold better and give you more of a flavor still, a profile of the alcohol you used. Asians traditionally consume a lot of alcohol in their baking, so they use rice. Yeah. Millet, um, you know, it's all rounded, little pebbles. It soaks up massive amounts of water, and um, oil, not so much, just a little bit. So if you were doing some sort of steamy baking and you want to manage that, there you go. So I only use a little bit in recipes and it'll suck up too much of the moisture out of the other areas of the product you're making. Uh, when it comes to using wheat, um, 
you know, I actually prefer in between color wheat, like sand. See, everybody's into hard red wheat or white wheat. And I'm like, can we get a nice medium? You see that? You get it in between there. And it's a nice flavor. Not too tough, not too soft. That's the best for baking, in my opinion, unless you're purposely trying to create some sort of soft confection thing that needs that I of course use fluffy wheat you know exclusively um teff um teff it's so tiny it's kind of like semolina not semolina uh, what was the other one here? whatever anyways it's like the tiniest I've found there's another one that might be smaller it's like tiny little flower seeds yeah. looking and it really does work almost identically to um, amaranth, which is basically just wheat. So I don't know. It's amazing. Even though it's so strange looking how much you can use of it. And it's just... The flavor is kind of similar too, I have to say. You don't really notice. It's kind of strange. Oh, there is buckwheat here. Well, now you can take it with this. See, this buckwheat is extra green in there. I kind of like it when there's uh, some dark brown mixed with the green. That's primo. There's a little bit of dark brown in there. If it's just dark brown, you're not going to get much of a flavor. It's a pretty good product here we got, actually, compared to previous batches. And semolina, it's just super fine. You know, everybody wants it for pasta so you can, you know, get the gluey thing you want out of it stuff and uh when you're making uh products in your oven you usually want to like uh mix semolina once again with something a little coarser i just always think that it's good to play off of each other coarse and fine you know like that it just makes it way more tasty here we have some forbidden rice, black rice. Um, it's just black rice kernels, kind of regular looking. It's supposedly grown in some sort of uh, soil with a bunch of volcanic stuff. So volcano rice. Um, it definitely makes your food taste um, like it's pleasantly cindered it's really pleasant actually it really contains the volcano as well and gives you the best aspects of it into your baking so i really like it actually it's like a spice you flavor in with the other flowers on top of it you know it's really nice so we've got amaranth there you go look at those little and with amaranth as well as uh other little type seed kernels like this they have large amounts of mushrooms some might argue they are a mushroom and so they'll make you really weird feeling if you add it to your uh, baking with alcohol that's why i always do though rye this is green rye uh, of course don't get this wet or you'll hallucinate horrifically um it's pretty funny i guess you could do it to your enemies I had to get this at the Boise Co-op. I was surprised they were selling this type of green rye again. It's, uh, for baking, um, it definitely, once again, the green color, it adds a type of, uh, musty, like, mushroom chlorophyll taste that, uh, it's really nice for mint, you know? It goes well with mint. I like it. Uh, let's see here. And then we have some... Emmer farro, it's a type of wheat. It's pretty much just hyper hard while still breaking down well into like a dry powder that clings well. But it's it's got strange properties, so I'm still investigating this one. Uh, and then we have Kamut. That's used quite a bit around the world. Uh, it's really good for making pasta. Um, for baking, I think it just, uh, it's really easy to work with, roll it out. It's good for pizza, for example. I'd recommend pizza dough for that. Um, we have regular rice, you know, it's 
sucks up a little more water. It's a good alternative. It's gluten free. Um, when it comes to most of these grains, if they look like wheat, like these ones, they're gonna have gluten. Rice, a lot of varieties of rice do not have any gluten. So that's the rare exception, if they even are that shape. And anything else that has some other shape to it, that doesn't look like a wheat type, it's not gonna have any gluten, you're totally safe. So I hope I've given you some examples of different flours that are good for all different examples of digestion, all different types of foods in different parts of the world. And I'm going to keep expanding what I know about grains and getting more grains. So tune in next time, I guess.